Coming up now that the city is opening up, people are looking for some fun things to do. I'll be speaking with Candace Jordan, who has the scoop on the Obama portrait exhibit and a lot of fun events when we come back. Now that the city and state are fully reopened, it's time to take a look ahead of things to see and do that are coming to our area. So we've invited Candace Jordan back with Chicago Star Media to give us a rundown of everything that we can expect. Hey, Candace, good to see you again. Hey, Sylvia, thank you for having me back. And our how pleasure. That all these activities are coming Well, that's back. what I, I mean, wanted to ask you. Yeah, so you keep a track of all of this stuff. Have you noticed the list? I mean, are we totally back? Is it pretty heavy what's going to be opening up? Well, according to my calendar, it looks like we're totally back, but I know that um, some of the events, of course, are not going to be, you know, in person. I mean, mm -hmm. some of them are still very cautious and doing, you know, virtual events, but for all intents and purposes, I think uh, the calendar is going to be packed for summer. I'm for, glad. For I am so glad. Okay, let's start with this first one I'm looking forward to, and that's the Obama portraits. Tell me about that. Well, you know, it's coming to the Art Institute June 18th through August 15th, and it, the Chicago is the first stop on a five-city tour, which is so appropriate because the Art Institute was the official, official location for the Obama's first date. So I think that mm -hmm. is just so adorable. And, of course, it was first, these portraits were first shown at the Smithsonian National Portrait Gallery in 2018 by the famed artist Nick King. Kehinde Wiley and Amy Sherald. And um, the first week it was free to the public, but sadly that's already sold out. But not to fear, general admission tickets are only $25 and to see a piece of history, I think oh, that's yeah. extremely fair. I always think of that picture of that young girl looking up at Michelle Obama's picture. To me, that is just something oh. I will never forget, right? Okay, never let's, forget. So let's also talk about one of my other favorite summer things in Chicago, and that's the return of the Grant Park Music Festivals. Tell us about yes, that. This is I know this is so exciting. So it's Friday and Saturday, July 2nd through, through the 3rd. And of course, it's a family-oriented holiday spectacular featuring all patriotic music from actually nine composers. Um, there's free lawn seating and free seating in the Prisker Pavilion. And if you want to get closer to the stage, you could buy a one-night pass for only $25. They're going to have concession tents for food, beer, and wine. So you can bring a little picnic container and load up in the concession stands and have a picnic on the lawn and listen to this wonderful patriotic music. That one sounds like a lot of fun. Okay, this one is hugely popular, especially with the youngsters, and that's the Windy City Smokeout. Tell us about that. Well, forget the youngsters. It's popular <laughs> with me. It's one of my favorite oh, things good. in the world. I mean, who, who wouldn't like barbecue and country music? Right. I mean, this festival is set for July 8th through the 11th, and it's going to be in the United Center parking lot. They're going to have over 20 country western performers, including Brett Eldridge, Darius Rucker, Dirks Bentley, and John Party. I mean, and 17 pitmasters from across the country are going to showcase their barbecue skills at this incredible, fabulous smokeout. And actually, this smokeout is one of the first big festivals to return in Chicago following this pandemic. So it's really a multiple celebration on all fronts. Yeah, it's it's at a different location, too. And with United Center, that means they're going to be able to take even more people to come out and enjoy. Okay, this next one I'm right. fascinated with because I have seen this going up and down the river. So tell me about this Chicago fire boat tour. Well, I am thrilled to talk about this because, you know, I've taken all the tours on these boats, and there are so many terrific tours in Chicago on the river, on the lake. But this one is so unique. It's a 1930s-era fire boat called the uh, Fred A. Busey, and it's run by two Navy vets, Eric Toch and uh, Ray Novak, and they really know their stuff. I mean, they bought this boat and refurbished it in Michigan, and it's uh, it, it, it's like a floating history. I mean, they have a mini museum on board, and they have a variety of cruises that you can take. You can take a fireworks cruise. You can go along the river. You can go along the lakefront. It takes you through the locks. I mean, they have a, all kinds of things. One's a live music tour, but my favorite is the sangria and fried chicken tour, <laughs> oh. which also is why, I mean, and they're so reasonable. It's only $40 a person, and it's like a 90-minute tour, and I mean, and these guys really thrill you with the history of Chicago, and, um, and look at how cute they are. I mean, oh, they it's are. just, <laughs> and it's so unique and it's different. And there's also a history tour that they do. I mean, I know we have an architectural tour, but not on a fire boat. That so, is super you know, cool. Super cool. It's okay. Super cool. Okay. So this next one's finally an event for breast cancer. Tell me about this one. 
Yeah, well, this one takes place on June 19th, and it's a virtual event. And you know, a Silver Lining Foundation was uh, founded by Dr. Sandy Goldberg, and it's to provide free breast health testing for the underinsured and the uninsured. And so this is one of their fundraisers. It's called Tasting Stars. And you know, it was started by six couples, um, not obviously 19 years ago, and one of the couples' mothers had breast cancer. And so that's why they be became involved and wanted to do something to give back. And last year's Tasting Stars event, uh, the funds raised from that allowed them to test 166 women, five of whom were diagnosed with breast cancer. So not only is this a fun fundraiser, but it's also a life-saving fundraiser. And I just think that Dr. Sandy does just such a great job at this. Okay, so what's the website people can go to to follow you, Candice? Read all your stuff and get all of your Thank suggestions. You. Well, I know all this stuff is going to be on your website. It's also going to be on ChicagoStarMedia.com. And, of course, I hope people follow me at CandidCandice.com as well. So well, a variety of choices. Like I said, we can't wait to get back. Thanks for coming and showing us everything that we can see and do over the next few weeks. Hope to have you back because I know there's going to be a lot more to see over the summer. A lot. Candace Jordan, have a great Thank day. You. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you. And we'll